Hey, welcome to the show. My guests today say their families are being ripped apart. Please meet Frank. He says you can't choose your family, but he sure wishes he could. Frank, what's going on? Um, Jerry, my mom is a lunatic. Your mom's a lunatic? She is flat out crazy, dude. Yeah. I mean, she, if there's no drama in her life, she's not happy. She must start fights all the time. She's tearing our family apart. We can't get along. Oh, matter of fact, she's been on your show before. You can see how crazy she was. <laughs> oh, well, that proves it. <laughs> do we have a tape with her? We do. Oh, okay. All right, well, why don't we run it then? Let's first see what she it's like. <coughs> Damn. We're gonna call somebody that won't take care of their kids. What? No, what? Rachel, I'm done. I'm done. What? You can't no. say nothing, Shannon. You can't say nothing. Oh, because you know you're in the wrong? Or because Rodney. Oh, dinner. really? Oh! Well, you make a good case. <laughs> yeah, she, the, uh, well, the, yeah, thing, she's, is, go the ahead. thing is, is she's like this on a daily basis. Since I was a kid, I, I have a lot of resentment toward my mom. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, she lost me and my brother to Children's Services. She was able to get me back, but she didn't get my brother back. We've been separated our whole lives. And I've held a deep resentment for that my whole life. Yeah. You know, she's been a pill addict her whole life. Yeah. That's all she does is want to stay high on pills and cause fights and arguments. And she can't, you know, I, I don't want my family around this. I don't just in my life. You, I have a kid to take care of. How is she affecting you right now? Is she affecting your personal life? Yeah, she, she hates my, she hates my fiancé. Oh. Since me and my fiancé have gotten together, she's tried to do nothing but break us up. About a month and a half ago, me, my mom, my fiancé, my sister, and my uncle all decided to get a house together. Oh, this was a great idea. <laughs> well, I, I thought it would be a good idea to give her a chance. And since we've been there, that, there's been nothing but fighting me. So, uh, I tell you what, why don't we meet your mom now, and I'll let you talk to her, and we'll get a good look at her. Here is your mom, Tanya. First of all, I'm your, I'm your mom. I'm your mom. Yeah, I lost you to children's services. My sister took your brother, and you know that. The only reason you're doing this is because that fat bitch mom. wants to sit around and eat little Debbie cakes and uh, drink Diet Pepsi. <laughs> Hello. But my problem mom, is, mom, what? My problem what? is, is I, it's Why not my responsibility to take care of you. Who's took care of you for 30 years? But every time I lived with you, I took care. I had money. I brought in money. I paid for your cigarettes. Stolen money? Is that an occupation? No, it's not, but is I got a job occupation? now. I'm trying to change yeah, my life. Yeah, you've had a job for two weeks. Oh, well, it doesn't matter how long I've had it. The fact is, is I got one. You two fat bitches should be on the ab lounge. <laughs> you guys should be on the ab lounge. So jealous, you wouldn't even let me get on it. You wasted a hundred dollars on that when she should have bought, job, bought her son a bed. What is it? What, what on what about, No, he sleeps in my bed. I feel so left What's out. What's Ed Lounge? What, what about Christmas? Wait, what about Christmas? What? What did you say? Uh, uh, an ab lounge. An ab lounge. What's an it's ab lounge? It's supposed to thin you out. Okay, I'm now I'm 53 years old. It's time you have some respect for me. I love you and have respect no, for you. No, you don't. But I don't have no, to let you, you cause problems in my home. If it wasn't for me and my brother, you wouldn't have that home. You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? I know that. You'd like to think that. Why what about what? Christmas? I feel so left out. What about Christmas? What I bring Christmas? my I bring my son to a, to the family gathering. Every other grandkid got a present, but my son. You, you think that hurt me? Did I buy it? That makes me feel did left I out. Did I buy it? Buy what? Did I buy it? Did you buy what? Christmas present. I didn't buy anything for anybody. Oh. Every kid there got something except for mine. Not from me. Why didn't you buy your kids, uh, grandkids? I am uh, unemployed Christmas right now. I see. Okay, but you got if the I ab. Can't buy for but one, you got the ab no. lounge. No, his bitch got the ab lounge. Oh. Instead of buying her son a bed, he's sleeping on my bed, my bed. And you're all grown, all big and bad, <laughs> big and fat and nasty. Now, do you use the ab lounge? <laughs> I'm just. I work. He works. Two weeks. Two Three weeks. weeks. Three. But it doesn't matter how long I've worked. <laughs> it doesn't matter how long I've worked. The fact is, is yeah. I'm trying to do better. Yeah. I got a job now. What was your occupation before that? 
none of anybody here's business. Oh, well, you're putting all my business out there. Let's bring it all uh, out. We're we'll talking hear. here with Frank and Tanya, uh, mother and son. And Frank's very uh, unhappy with his mother and has been for much of his life. Uh, he says, you know, you just, you mistreat him. You, you cause trouble in the family. He said, I'm paraphrasing, but basically that you're crazy, that you just start everyone my fighting each other. My kids have made me crazy. He's what? My kids have made me crazy. Oh, they've crazy. made you crazy. Okay. How is that? I don't even have have my grandchildren because they wouldn't take care of their kids. I've lost a couple of my kids, and I, yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like yeah, crap I about do. that. I feel like crap about that, mm -hmm. but you know what? I have a beautiful son right now that I'm trying to do the right thing with. Well, that's questionable. No, I'm, I'm trying sure to do the right sure. thing now. That's why I'm starting to work. That's why I'm quitting all the crap I was doing. Yeah, okay. We'll see. Three weeks. We'll, well see. Well, now, what is the stuff you were doing <laughs> that you had to stop? Yeah, tell them. Tell them, big boy. I was a professional thief. You were a professional thief. I were, was a professional thief. Okay, but, you, but now you're just back to an amateur. Mm -hmm. No, now, now I'm retired. He's retired. He was a professional thief. Okay, so we're going to bring out your fiance, okay. and she's happy that you're no longer stealing. Yes, very happy. You didn't steal anything out she's of our green room. She's been a big influence in my life, and, I'm, and I love her. You didn't steal anything out of our green room or anything? No, sir. No. <laughs> you better double check. Where, where is my wallet? <laughs> All right, here's your, uh, here's your, your fiance, Jessica. Bits. You don't take care of nothing. You know what? You haven't even what liked you, you live on Social Security. One. Yeah, you want to know why? Because I worked all my life to you do it. Quit spitting on me. What are you spitting on nothing? <laughs> Just because you're big and fat. You know what? You can spit in other people's faces and do everything you want to do. I mean, why don't you get a job, huh? Well, yeah, that's why you're not I in my house. You know what? Three and a half years. years. Have you, years. Jessica, have you been hogging the ab lounge? I paid for that on my own. That came out of my money. And we told her she could get it if she wanted to. So why don't you try something else? Why don't you try something else? <sighs> Look, the only thing... Nicely done. Thank all of you for getting us a new sponsor. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you don't. So you. She says you hog the ab lounge and won't let her use it. Why don't she go buy one on her own? Get a job and buy one. Why, Why don't you be a mother to your kids and a grandmother to you your grandkids? Stand in between my kids. Oh, do I? Yes. How do I do that? You know how you do it. How do I do that? You know I how took you, you into my house. No, we all paid money to vote together. You did? You ain't got a job to pay nothing. I had my money. How did you have your money? Don't you worry about how I had my money. Well, how did you have it? My brother paid my way. Oh. Wow. So that's all right. I took care of my brother all his wow. life, and he's still going to be mine. He's living in my house right now because yeah, he doesn't want to be around you. There. He don't want to be around you. You're a liar. Oh, you're a dumb bitch. Yeah.
Okay, what is it specifically, what is it that you don't like about her? Well, for one, when I was pregnant with his son, yes. she told him that it wasn't his baby. Is that true? She didn't even know me. Why would you I don't say know that? if it is or not. Yeah, but why would you I tell didn't her? sleep with her. <laughs> okay. So why, I'm not understanding why this family isn't getting along. They, those two love each other. Why can't you just let them love each other? And They can love each other, but they need to leave me alone. So she's saying you guys are... Uh, ha ha Who called the show? Hassling her. Who called? I don't know. It wasn't me. Is our number out there? Okay, now you have another son. Yes. How do you get along with him? Well, we get along fine. We're going to meet him in a moment. All right, welcome back. This is a family in turmoil. Uh, the son... Hey, um, I just wanted, before the break, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I had a relapse. Oh, you did find my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough in it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, okay. So there you go. You have uh, Frank is upset with his mom because Frank and his and his fiance Jessica here. They both say that mom, you are creating turmoil in the house and just you don't like her. How? And he's an adult. He's entitled to love whoever he wants. Right. Uh, and you're saying she's the problem. Yep. Jessica, first of all, what do you want to say to her? I want to say that her ass is out of my house, and I brought you something. I left on my own, bitch. Oh. I was nice enough to bring your bitch. Oh, don't you? Oh. Here you go. It didn't bring it off. Nope, I get the rest of it, too. Oh. Oh. Don't you wish your ass was fitting these oh, thongs? No, because look how... <laughs> look how nasty they are. Oh. <laughs> you wanna, you're, kicking her out of, you're kicking your mom out of the house? I, I love my mom and I respect my mom, but I, I have a son respect. to raise. Respect! I have a son to raise now, Jerry. Yeah. Respect! I have a lot more responsibility in my life than, than worrying about fighting and drama at least day. brought it off. Or did you try, try to squeeze it? Yeah, but separate, separate the dark from the light. <laughs> okay. It's much easier. Okay. So you have another son, Ronnie and his girlfriend, Maria. Yeah. Here's Ronnie and Maria. They're on <laughs> hey, hey, how do you sit there and listen by talking to my mom like that, dog? I'm going to take her back when she does. You got five kids. You want to listen to my being a parent? Who pushed you down hey, steps? She's not. She's not perfect. One at a time. She's not perfect. That's right. I'm not perfect. You ain't perfect. Damn sure you ain't perfect, but I give you props. You got a pair of pants on today. I ain't oh, seen you yeah, in a pair of pants in a year. She's got a... Who? Her. Hey, oh, that's yeah. a No, 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 no. no. It's yours, dog. Just shut up. Back away. Back Talk away. About How you going to take her back when she does the same way. stuff to you? Ain't none of us got no right to sit here and downgrade nobody. She ain't this girl, man. Okay. All right, so what's... Now, your attitude is you think he's too tough on your mom. Yeah. Every time he gets kicked out, where you go? Running back to mom. So where you gonna go next time? In my own home. There's gonna be a next time, Frank, and you know it just as well as I do. Ronnie, I mean, 
I'm trying to do better. I thought people would be proud of you. Hey, I am proud of you. I give you props. For real, I do. Props. Because you got five kids. <laughs> you get to see one for the past six months. You've been working for two weeks. I'm, I'm you trying to do no better. You ain't no expert. You don't have no right to come out here and talk to her. She raised us. I know, but we she don't need to... She got us out of her house. We don't need to yell and argue no more, Ronnie. Well, then you need to straighten up, too. We you all think, do. You don't think I'm not trying to do that? Not, not doing this, you ain't. How are you going to straighten up when you let her treat your mom the way she just did? I'm sorry, I might have problems with my mom, but I'll never let some nasty-ass bitch do that to my mom. <laughs> YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.